So today, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, G29 wheel setups. There's a lot of guys use it. Um, so I want to figure, hey, let's talk about the setups because everybody seems to think, well, everybody drives different wheels. So one guy will give you, hey, I got a great, great setup. But if you don't have the wheel, it's, it doesn't, you know, it's not right. Every, everybody's different. That's why you drive and use different wheels. It's just different feelings. Some people only use Logitech. Some people only use Dustmaster. They like that feel. And in my case, and a lot of other people's cases, you bought the wheel that basically you saw the most hype about and you had the best price and it was right there in front of you. So in my case, I got the G29. So oh, love it or whatever, I have it. So um, what we're going to do is I've been using a setup here. Um, well, hold on a second. So I got this setup this morning, okay? And it's different. It's like, I, I'm not very good with like, hey, how to explain things, how it's like, um, well, I guess I can explain it. So, um, from what I understand that on the G29 is that you want to go less effect strength um, just because of the, the motors, because of the stronger motor. Now, I'm used to always having the strength, effect strength cranked because um, a friend of mine, he has the T150, and he's that's how he runs his wheel. So, man, since day one, I've always run my wheel cranked. So, um, having it not cranked is different. It, it's like, you've, it's just different feeling. So, really, it's kind of what you like and kind of really what your wheel likes. It's It really is a marriage. So, you want to work on this. Um, I will say, though, it is probably, you can have your impact strength off. But it's probably, you're, you're doing sim racing, you probably want it on. So we're going to leave it on. Centering spring, you want on because it brings the wheel back. So that's why you have a wheel. Your centering spring is on. It's never off, okay? It's not off. It's on. Um, steering dead zone all the way to the left. Now this is where it gets a little different, okay? You want your steering range dead center, but your steering sensitivity, okay? Um... I'm going to show you here. Um, this is where he has it. And so what we're going to do is that we're going to run this this way, okay? The way. Um, and for the G29, well, I'm going to hit my button here. I'm going to hit it for you. I'm going to show you. So when I hit my brake pedal, this is what I do. It's, it's like, it's, this is what I do when I hit the bottom of it. I'm not slamming it and pushing it through the wall. I just touch it, man. They're, I'm playing NASCAR and certain other games. If you're stomping on it, there's... You, why you, you just you put more pressure on springs and that's how you're gonna have to replace parts set the brake so where you have to do it you do it it's not real racing you're not in a real car you know like work with the game system okay that's that's the way I look at it um, and now this is here this is something a little weird to me um, I usually don't have my throttle sensor down this low but once again I think you were on with me last night he said turn it down so we're gonna turn it down it's more for road courses but I guess you'll get used to it. We could probably turn that up a little bit. This here is what you want to worry about. Um, see how this is? See, it skips. It didn't skip there. It didn't skip there, but right there. I guess it didn't. See, it did. See, right there. Sometimes it gives you that funky little dead zone. You don't want. You don't want this. Let me see where this is. Steering sensitivity. Okay. Let me crank this bad boy up. Okay. See that? You don't want that. That is, you don't want that. Okay, it's common sense. You, you don't, you want fluidity. Okay, so you're gonna go down now. Um, I had mine down here, I think, last night. Um, let me see what I got here. See, it's, it's not. It's really. There's the smallest of differences. See, there's that smallest of differences. You see, it almost, it, it almost gets like a little plug. It doesn't skip or jump. So, now, you're gonna go with that. Let me see what this one does. Let's test this one. See, that's not right. Now see, that's not right. So you don't want that. And so this is your biggest obstacle right here, okay? This is what this is where 
you know, your things, your break and sensitivity, throttle sensitivity, that's all going to be your kind of feeling thing. But this here is what you really, really want. This is what it's all about. This is what the wheel change is. And they made it simple where you don't have to go to a 900, 720, 180 like they did in Heat 4. It just plug and play and adjust it to your thing. But you want to make sure that this is correct. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go with that because honestly, I think it's the cleanest. So um, we're gonna we're gonna go with this and see what it is. Now, last night's Chicago, Chicago um, setup is completely different. Um, so remember how I was running the line and stuff like that, and I changed the wheel lock, and I did this and that. Now, um, and I did I did pretty well there, right? I mean, that's what I was told I did okay. So once again, I like Ford. I like, you know, hey, so we're going to go with old Ryan Newman. Um, and we're going to go to Charlotte. Because I just got given a setup. I'm going to kind of... I, uh, I want to run a 29... If I could run a 22.92, I'd be a stud. But realistically, if I can run a 30, 29.7... Even if I could run a 29.5, that would be great. 29.5, I'd be, like, stoked. Um, but I'm not that, you know, just take. We're going to take it one step at a time. So, um, in another video, I will show you my setups. Right now, we just want to do wheel setups. So, we're going to do wheel setups. So, um, we're going to see what we got going on here. Um, let's see here. We got this. I'm gonna set up my setup, boom, I'm gonna start the session now, okay? So we're gonna start here. Start the car. I need a bank. I'm telling you guys, I was I dogged this shifter. It's not a good shifter for GT3 racing. But it is just awesome for NASCAR. Um, I will not like I said when I do my road courses, I stick with the paddle shifters. But for this is just awesome. So we're gonna see what it does here, okay? I'm gonna show you the difference in between. Doing a track of oh, that's a bad one. But I want to show you this. Stuff. Don't worry about my track line. I mean my um my lap speed. Just I want to put where my put the car is where it's going. Okay. So right here, it looks pretty good. Now third one. Third. See now I look at that. So don't worry about the track time. Feels like the, it's hiccuping on it. Doesn't it track like it's hiccuping? So this here, I think, is more setup than it is my wheel. Okay. So I want to show you. Like this is a pretty good um, wheel setup. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you don't have a um, a good a good setup for your wheel you're gonna you're gonna see problems here and basically all last year I was dealing with these problems like um, you, you, the wheels not gonna go it's always gonna be late that's what it's gonna be you, you're gonna say okay go there and it's it's, it's it's gonna wait a second or it's gonna do a little hiccup and it's, it's not gonna be any, not gonna be any good for you so we're gonna we're gonna change this and so we're gonna go down here and we're gonna change the sensitivity. We're gonna say, we're gonna go, we'll go two clicks up, okay? So we're just gonna do this. I'm gonna hit this for you. See that? Okay, so now we're gonna go see what it does though, okay? So let's go see what it does. Hit save. Gonna jump out. We jumped out too far. Okay, so now we're gonna go. Race modes, we go test, X, right, new end. Go to Charlotte, so I'm gonna stick up the same thing. I 
I wish they would start showing you different pictures. This looking at this Fanatec thing is uh, just like looking at something that you really can't afford. It's kind of you know. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so same thing. Haven't changed the car setup at all. Make sure I got my custom setup in. We're gonna do this. Hit start. Okay, get back in there. Let's go. See? See? Look, look, look. See? See how it's so touchy. Look, look at it. It's like a hammer. Now look, that, that's all it did. All it did was two clicks up. And you can see it's so touchy. So, look at that. It's... It's undrivable. Now, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna say my car is it's, it's the car setup. It's the car setup. No, 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 no. It's the car setup. It's but it really like if someone's giving you their car setup and their car is doing this, 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 and you might be a tenth, a, even if you're a second off, it's not the car setup. It it has to be something that either you're a terrible driver, which in my case I am. But, or it's the fact that your wheel setup's wrong. So, before you start dogging on yourself, go play with your wheel setup and say, hey, this is it. And then so, um, you know, go along. And I'm gonna tell you what, you're gonna find a lot of stuff out there for wheel setups. And a lot of it's gonna be wrong because you're looking at stuff that's two and three years old. You're not gonna be able to use the same wheel setup um, that you used on before or you know, ACC, the first one, like ACC, the first one, um, I mean, AC, you know, so of course, uh, ACC is completely different. It's just different. They make it different for a reason because you're buying a new game, so okay, they're going to change it. But look at this. So now, we're going to go down here. Now, I could change my car setup, but why? I, I already played with my car setup with both of my settings, my wheel settings, the way I know it is. So I already know it's like that. So we're going to go back. And we're going to try it the other way. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Now, all, all I did was change the sensitivity, right? I didn't change anything else. Like, that. that's just what one thing does. That's just one, one thing. It's probably the biggest key. But it just... That's what one thing does. It's that big a deal for your setups and stuff like that. And I hope it really just really makes me a better Heat 5 um, driver than it did in Heat 4. Because Heat 4, I told you, I was fed up. All I did was cry and like say, and, uh, 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 and it just was really terrible. So, um, let me see here. So, a strength, a thanks, effect strength. Um... I don't, man, I might play with that a little bit too. Um, I don't know if I like it that low. Um, I haven't really raced in a group of cars like, like you saw last night. The guys I race with, I'm not very good. I, I race middle of the pack. And it's like, I know where I race. It's just, hey, it's just, that's where I race, man. Um, so we're going to keep that right now. <sighs> I had my cranked. Okay, so we're going to do that. Okay, now let's go back to my setting. And we're going to see what last night's, um, I got to go to my phone and get the picture here. I'm going to go back to my, going to go back to my wheel settings here, okay. So I had my strength, thanks. Blah, blah, my strength. <laughs> I've been drinking a bang. I don't know if it's affecting my speech or not. Here. What is it, right about? Is it right about there? I'll say it was right there. I think it might have been one to the left, but we're going to go right there. So that was on, on. That was all the way down. And that was right there. This here. I believe. Was right there. That's a change, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to go here. And I think I left everything else the same. Because the rest of your brake pedal, that's your preference. It's, it really is more steering sensitivity. And people who are going to mess with these two things here and this. This is really 
This is it. Don't touch your centering spring. You want to touch your impact effect, that, that's your thing. If you have a force feedback wheel, don't touch your centering spring. Okay? It's on. That's why you paid that extra hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars more centering spring, okay? T eighty that's not a centering spring, I believe. I think I'm I think I'm right on that. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna go we can go back to my setup here and we're gonna see the difference. So the first setup was the setup I got this morning. The setup I just did was a hey, you know what, it might go here type setup. And now we're gonna go with the setup I ran last night at Chicago. And we're gonna see um I go here, let's let's do that sensitivity thing. See? I'm gonna tell you, I think his setup's better than mine. I, I I think it's a little slow, slower right there, isn't it? Okay, see that? I think it is. I think he's got a better setup. Let me look at that. So we're gonna go with it, but I think that's gonna have a big um, difference in the cornering. You know how last night I kept saying, well, watch my Chicago land video and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. But when you're at the top of the hill and you're supposed to turn in, you go to turn in and it's like, Okay, you know, it takes like a deep breath and by then everyone's already at the bottom of the track and you start the top going Wait for me guys wait for me and you just you're already lost your second in the corner The corner doesn't matter if it's one and two three and four come out of four and the same thing coming up when you start to come up It's gonna you're not gonna have that um, Responsiveness so it's either gonna slide up farther because you're gonna you're not gonna have that responsiveness So you want it now. Let's go look here and see again. I wish I could record that. Okay, let's let's do that one more time. Okay. Okay. Let's look at this. Okay, I'm at nine o'clock. Okay, right now nine o'clock. Twelve o'clock. Almost eleven o'clock. Right there. One o'clock. Two o'clock. Three o'clock. Look at that. Is that right? Sometimes, like, you do so much plays tricks on you. Now, let's look at that. I still think it's a little slower. Let's see what it does here. I think he's right, man. Look, it's faster, isn't it? I think he's right. So, once again, now, I'm going to go with my setup and I'm going to show you. We're going to go a couple laps and we're going to test it back again and we're going to do it, okay? Let's check this out. Because I think he's on something. Told you. Never too old to learn. Okay, Charlotte. Okay, so once again. I wish the load time was so much faster on this. It's such downtime. Um... Okay, let's see what we got here. This is not that song. There's, there's screaming music in my ear right now, so I'm like, okay, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not that twiddle dang stuff that they've been playing. All right, let's see what we got here, okay? Boom, boom, boom. Let's rock and roll. Um. So, with this setup right here, um, okay, this is my wheel block, isn't it? It is, okay, this is my wheel setup. So I think the best I did was a 29.9, and that was on like lap 4 or 5 out of the fuel run. So let's see what I do. I'm not really worried about this first two laps. See that little, the little emotion? I think that's part of my problem. I think you have dead spots. Um, that. Just 
going to run this line here, so kind of see if they truly want it. So you have to turn back up. If you have to turn back up to the right, you've already lost. Seven. I'm telling you, his setup, man, he's got a great, great setups. And I figured out, I think, what works for my setup because, like I said, the wheel makes a difference. So if you're going to get a setup from somebody, um, and if you don't have the same wheel, you will need to make changes. And in another video I will share with you. So right now, I'm what, 5 tenths off from being pretty good. 29.5 is respectful. 29.7 is finishing mid-pack. You just, you're not gonna, you know, like, you're not gonna do it. You really, you have to be 25, I mean, you have to be at a 5 run, 29.5 run. Hear that dog? And that's right there. My lap's already done. As soon as you hear that motor go like that, it's no good. So. All right. So basically, what I'm running for an average is a 29, 7, 29, 9. Right. Tires at 95 and it's starting to get squirrely. So, like, and that's the other thing is how we're gonna do this here. We ran what? Um, what are we going, 5 laps now, 6 laps? Let me put this pause on the sucker. 30.1, okay, so we'll do one more lap. Then we're going to go back and run 5 or 6 laps to the other place. Now, so right there. So, your first couple laps, same thing with the other games there. When your car sets in, it's kind of when you're going to start to notice your weaknesses in your wheel too because everything works great when it's fresh. When your tire's got the most rubber and you got traction, nothing's gonna feel wrong. When you start to lose traction, all those little gremlins that you have wrong are gonna pop out. You know, like your setups and stuff like that, the same thing with your wheel settings. If it's wrong, when the car starts to lose grip and starts losing fuel and stuff like that, you're gonna start to see those gremlins come out. So. Um, you can work around it um, with the car setup, but it's to just have your wheel set up right. So, um, and the best thing to do is probably just take a regular stock um, preset car, keep it on one number, and go around and find it. But that little tool is really a difference. Um, and then you're going to want to race in traffic. And we'll stop up this way. Of getting the zone to get comfortable. Yeah, okay, the car right now feels really good, um, but it's still a little, I guess, a little sloppiness in the corner. See, so 29.9, 29.7, right there, okay? All right, let's jump out and see um, what we do with the other um, setup, okay? Let's just see if that makes a difference. Um, I'll go from there. I gotta come up with jokes or riddles. So when we have loading time, you know, I can kill time where we can say, okay, you know, like, hey, riddle me this, something cool. I'll figure something out. All right. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go down here. And we're gonna do this, steering sensitivity. We'll go right dead center. And then, then we're gonna look at this. I really think this is the right one. I don't think there's gonna be much of a difference, but I do think you're gonna to start to feel it when the tires fall off. 
So we're gonna go look at this, hit start, and then we're gonna see about that strike effect too. So we're gonna look at that. Um, test sessions, let's go on this. Oh, Ryan Newman, Charlotte. So, I tried this, the Bang, I don't know if you guys drink energy drinks, I really don't, but every, like once a week I get a craving for one, and um, I tried the Black Cherry Vanilla today, and it's alright, but I really think I like the, um, what is it, the Super, the, not the Rockstar, the Superstar, the red, white, and blue one there, um, the, that one's probably my favorite so far. But I found out at the big box store everybody shops at that um, they have. Did I do that right? Um, they have it now four packs, like the rest of those energy drinks here. Let's see what we got. Here. As I step on the brake, then. Yes, and I'm wearing my race shoes. I'm telling you, it, it really is, man. Race shoes stick you. You just, you're already, you're already racing, not getting paid the millions. See? You already feel it, the difference in that car. I'm um, going for that corner. You just, it's, it's right. It is right. So, I'm going to have to go back now. I have it in my head, this is right, but let's see what happens to the real settings. I don't think I could do that with my the other settings, could I? See? Right there. I think this is the right settings. I don't think I could do that with my um with my old setting. See look at that. I couldn't. I'm pretty sure I couldn't. So that's the difference right there. Um, I will say the wheel feels heavier. Um, like it, it feels heavier. Like there's a different weight to it. Um, maybe that's why you turn down the strength. But the way it was, it didn't. I didn't feel the weight in it. So I'm, I'm trying to feel the wheel now. So I'll explain what I'm doing. It's like right underneath the center, like you can, it's, it's cool, it's, it's different, and it's like, do I turn that up, do I leave it as is, like, how real do you want to be, you know, it's, I think this is right though, look, I'm much cleaner on that line, okay, much cleaner on that line. That's it right there, boys and girls. That is it right there. He's, he's got me. He has convinced me. I thank you very much. Um, his OG. OG something. 29.7. So basically, look at that. He ran 29.7 when I did the other one. But I think... I messed up a lot, but I've done a lot of time. But I think I'm going to run more consistent on a lot of Turn back to the right and left, that's wrong. So now i got to learn to keep my wheel straight and learn to turn in and be very, very Do that with the other wheel setup. This is it. This is more right now. Um, do another lap here. I can already tell you it's right. Now we're gonna go see. 
what the strength effects do, okay? Let's see what that does. I don't want to drag this on forever. See, look at that. 29 centimeters. See, look. I'm already, look at that. Where instead, now I'm losing like thousands of a second or gaining thousands of a second and instead of losing, you know, tenths or whatever. I'm, I'm not or not, something like that. Give me a fucking loss. But instead of going 29, 7 to 29.9 to a 29.7 to a 29.9. I'm doing 29.7.34, 29.50, you know, 29.3, you know what I'm saying? Is, and I'm not going, I'm not going from a 29.7 to a 29.9 or a 29.7 to a 30. I'm sticking to that, that 29.7. 4, 3, 29, 3, 4, 7, you know. That's a long ride. But still, even with the tire wear off, like I don't feel it. Like you don't feel a tire wear fall off like you did with the other setup. Like, you see where I'm at with tire wear. I'm at 91%. What I say, 88 felt really, really good, right? So we're going to see what it looks like at 88. Um, let's just try another lap or two. Go with that, and then um, we do a quick little stint with the um, strength sets. Okay, but look, that's it right there, guys. I mean, that's it right there. That's it right there. I will say, um, I got to adjust. I think something. I got to adjust. Like you feel it coming out of the corners now. Um, coming out of four. That little, there's a little hiccup there that I feel. Right there. You feel the wheel pull back and forth right there. There we go, 88. Just look at that, fall on that line. Right there, man. I mean, still right on the line. With 85, 86% tire wear. Look at that. Like, 29.8. See, that's really, like, that's it. Okay? So, let's go back and let's toy with the, um, uh, Let's see what the strength effect does now. I think that's going to make it feel just heavier. So it's going to be, which I think, I think right here it's all right. Um, if you want to say, hey, you're a little more manlier, but are you going to want to do 30 laps with that heavy wheel? We're, we're playing a fake game here. It's so, you know, you can just tell everybody you have your strength effect cranked up and feel manly if you want. But for real sake, I'd probably leave it where it is. But we're gonna go. Oh no, I did. I manned up and I did crank that up there. So I knew there was a difference. All right. <laughs> Look at that. You see, I knew there was a difference. All right, so let's see what that is right here. I think he said you go two up, one, two. Something like that right there. We'll go right there. We're gonna call it good. Okay. Got that crank that right there. We're gonna see if I can do my times better. Oh, oh I went the wrong way. So you want to go back to the garage. I sometimes have rush. I don't know if it takes it or not. So there we go. All right. Okay, get back in there. Let's go. I always step on breaking on that. <clears throat> Gotta work on my uh, my pivoting on my foot now. 
on my clutch sauce, and that's where I'm going to get better. So I've got a long way to go to get better. So it really is. It's, it's pretty fun, too. Okay, so um, right now, I personally like my effect strength where I had it, I think. Um, you really, I feel like I can hold the line. We're going to see here. I feel like with the way I had it, you have a better feel of the, um, the setup. Um, how do I put it? It's... So when this lifts light, I think you move the wheel too much. But I'm both the same line. So I guess, really, I guess it's going to be your preference. I think I like the effect strength up higher. I think it's too arcadey with the effect strength down this low. Um, so knowing my last statement, I say I'm manly. I guess I'd crank it. Uh, I, I do think there's a, there's a difference. There's a difference in feel. Like, This, you kind of point, you gotta hold it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, um, it's just different. I think I like a heavier thing, but that sensitivity is right on the money. I, I really appreciate, I think it was OG something, so I um, appreciate what you did. Still run that line now. Man, that's a huge help. Really, like such a huge help what he did. Just just with that. Love on that pet dead center, you know, like right in the middle there. And I think most of that will come stock, but you're gonna hear people say, hey, you wanna move it here and there and there. And that's I don't think that's correct. See how I move there? I I went to scratch my eye and um my cheek and it Gets a little, gets a little light. Yeah. yeah see, that, that's more, that's more of the effects I think right there. I prefer a heavier wheel. So, like I said, um, go ahead. We're gonna go back out and look at the, the uh, wheel settings. So, if you want to go look through it, I know some guys just scream through and look at wheel lock settings and go to the end of the video and um, look at basically what a final setup adjustment is. So. I'm gonna go and I'll do that for you. And so this way you can have a, you can find out what I'm doing. Okay, this is where I'm gonna go. All right. So I like mine here. Right, right there, right? Right there, I think it was right here. We're gonna go right here. So we're gonna keep it right here. That steering sensitivity, it's, that's it right there, boys. That's it right there. So um, until I learn otherwise, until they put a patch on or something like that, I think that's good right there. Um, throttle sensitivity, eh, it's still up to you. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna leave it like that. We're gonna do that. So because mostly we don't do super speedways, um, and then if I'm, I mean mostly we do ovals. So if we do road courses. I don't think I'll get in too much trouble having it that setup. So we're going to leave it like that, and that's how it's going to go. All right, so let's go through it one more time so you guys can take a good look. It's there. So let me see. One, three from the far right. 
all the way to the left. Dead center on both. Mine there is brake sensitivity like I showed you for my brake pedal. It's there because the G29 is where I like my feeling. And I went here for my throttle. So let me go real quick here and show you. Okay. So I think that's pretty good right there. Or oh, I just hit the gas and go. Hmm. See, I like that brake. I like the brake. Hitting the clutch a little bit. See? I'm going to go up one on that thing. Yeah, that, that's where, that's where, I'm going to stick with that right there. And if I do road courses, if you do road courses, drop it down, okay? But right now, I'm going to do that. And then it's going to be a pain in the butt, but basically you'll see rooms where they'll just do road courses. Little things, man. You don't have to do it, but I think if you do changes like that, you're going to probably, with how many people run off the track and stuff like that, because they're going to step on the gas too hard, um... You're gonna probably want to turn your throttle sensitivity down. Little tricks, what you learn. This is what this is what the good ones do. All right, hey, I'd like to thank you. Uh, like, subscribe, hit that bell button, boys. Thank you.